Hey everyone! So in today's video I'm showing you guys my interpretation of the trendy orange lip. I know a couple people have done videos about it. The first person I ever saw do the orange lip thing was Emily Clark. I follow her on Twitter and she did some twit pics, twit tweet pics, Twitter pics. Um, and she did the orange lip and of course I thought oh my god I could never pull that off but wow that looks fabulous. And then looking through my makeup and organizing and one day I found this uh, Milani lipstick that I had bought a couple years ago and thought, oh my god, let me try this, thinking it would never look good. And um, alone, I thought it looked a little too harsh, and I added a little bit of gold eyeshadow in the middle. It made it totally wearable, which is something that I've done before. I did it in the dark lipstick video. And um, I actually like how it turned out, and just did it with bronze skin. It looks better when I'm a little tanner and bronze lids. So this is how I do it for my deeper skin. Um, for reference, I will put Emily Clark's stuff in the description box below. Um, I think that it's best because it's such a focal point. I think it's best that it's worn like with a casual like a white t-shirt, jeans, flip-flops. These are like three dollar earrings and tousled hair. Like I blow dried it, flat ironed it, but like my lazy flat iron, which means I didn't like really, it's not stick straight. And I would feel totally comfortable leaving the house like this in the middle of the day in bright sunlight. I know it's a little bold, um, but it can be done. And I'm going to show you guys how I did it. And um, I just saw this like popping up in the camera as I'm watching the playback. And I was making out with my hand because I still do that at 25. But anyway, I hope that you, this helps you guys out. If you have any questions, let me know below. I will list like all products, everything that I'm wearing in the description box. But if I forget anything, um, go ahead and ask. And uh, I hope this helps. Bye. Okay, so for reference, I already have my foundation concealer that's set with powder. I have eyeliner and mascara on. And uh, no eyeshadow because I'm going to do that right on camera. And I remember giving a tip about... Um, if you want something to be the focal point of your entire face, that's what you should start with. So that's what I'm going to do here. And so I'm going to start with the orange lips that I want to be the focal point. This is Mango Mambo by Milani. And I haven't seen it at CVS recently, but I have seen it at Walmart. And I'm just going to use the tip of it to outline my lips and then fill it in. And um, when I was doing my makeup, I just made sure to brush over uh, foundation on my lips to kind of mute the color because I um, pukey. I have pigmented lips. So it erased some of the color and now I'm going to go ahead and use the tip and um, draw in a line and then fill it in. The tricky thing with dark lipsticks is if you don't pull the color all the way to the inner corner of your lipstick, it kind of looks silly. So make sure that you do that and don't do it with a thick part of the lipstick because then you're bound to screw it up. So there, the lipstick is done and what you want to do is you probably went over it a couple times to get that even pigmentation and I just want to blot it so it's not sitting in excess because then if it's sitting in excess on your lips, it's more likely that it's going to end up on your teeth. So I don't, I didn't bring anything to blot on. And I can't find anything in arm's reach. So I'm just going to kiss the back of my hand. And it takes just enough color off. Then I'm going to dab a little bit of gold eyeshadow. This is the Wet n Wild Vanity Palette. And I'm just going to do that with my finger. And I'm going to dab it right underneath my cupid's bow. And I don't want to dip the same finger back in the eyeshadow because it will harden the uh, eyeshadow. Putting the lipstick on. Okay, and then to finish off my lips, all I'm going to do is um, put some Aquaphor over right over this. So they can be glossy but not like overly shiny. What I think looks best with this kind of look is really bronzy skin, bronzy eyes. Um, I think it's because it's like summer. It all kind of fits together when it's all, everything is bronzed out and then the lips are the focal point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and bronze everything up, add like a shimmery color to my eyes, and, uh, and I'll actually be done. First I'm going to start with Benefits Hula and I'm going to contour really quickly. 
Um, and I'm going to use the same brush all throughout this, frankly, because not for any other reason that that's what I actually do. And then I'm going to take Everyday Minerals and Tan. This is kind of like Bare Essentials Faux Tan. And I'm going to apply that kind of almost as an all over color, not as a contour to really, really bronze up my skin. And so when you're trying to bronze as opposed to contour, you apply um, bronzer where you would normally apply a blush. Hard Candies Bombshell. It's a big bronzer and it's shimmery and I'm gonna take that all over the skin. Again, applying it as though it's, it's blush. I'm, the last bit is I'm gonna take the Naked palette and I'm gonna take a little bit of half-baked and a little bit of smog and mix them together. And um, just apply that right in my crease. If you happen to apply over your eyeliner, I just did on the other eye. No big deal, you can go back and fix it. Not the end of the world. <laughs> 